sponsor a body issue boy pain because everybody shouting no pain now this is not normally how I do these videos but nevertheless here it is the brand new Chinese ninja is curse mark uh, Kimaru. Um, he or obviously the way out of picture is because it's a screenshot for some reason my internet was um, acting up so I couldn't um, I couldn't actually record from the actual forum website but uh, we're gonna still break it down for its passive Increase massive agility and force by percentage naturally as 80% speed, 6% damage rate, and 50% avoid injury rate. When alive in formation, increase all ally speed by 98% and HP by 30%. Reduce enemies avoid injury rate by 30%. For every 10% HP lost, increase damage rate by 8% for all allies. Ignore CC by 50%, immune to fear reduction, death seed, and frozen. A pretty, uh, pretty sane, I guess, um, talent. Uh, speed, 98% uh, is crazy, especially for an assaulter, because you is decreased, and he is an assaulter, so yeah. The HP, 30% for everybody. Uh, Guy Lee gives 40%, so that's one thing that. You know, if I even slightly consider Kiyomaru, what I would lose. Even from, um, uh, what was it, um, Sasa, the Sasuke, the final Sasuke, that he has, um, he also has 30% fair by, uh, 30% HP fair body. The avoid rate, uh, also good, uh, dropping that by the 30%. Now, I wish he had more to his talent. I mean, it's really not that much. I mean, speed, avoid your rate, and HP, that's pretty much it. Uh, the immunes are pretty cool. I mean, well, you know, Death Seed, you know, so at least he don't get knocked out. Um, hey, I mean, hey, as long as he, you know, the more healthy, the more healthy he's going to lose, he's going to be able to hit a lot harder. But it might all that go hand in hand with his skill. Let's check it out. But all the talents, okay. Just wish I had this. Wish it was more to just. It's, uh, which was more in, uh, instead of just reducing enemies avoid injury rate. Uh, but yeah, for the skill, attack all enemies with 300% growth rate, 80% chance to freeze, uh, freeze enemies for two rounds, clear all debuffs, extra penetration damage to enemies, force deduction of the amount of HP equal to the enemy's attack power, increase all defense by 500% for two rounds, recover 50. Three for the caster and three for everybody else. Now we got something new, and it's something that is duplicated, but you know something, something, or something that we have first seen on a support. Now two CCs, one of my one CC, one CC that you cannot, um, you cannot um, clean on cleanse, which is always pretty cool. Uh, clear all debuffs. Now. Well, you when you look at it, you might say, well, okay, he'll be able to clear debuffs on everybody. But I don't know if that's, I mean, it just, it just says clear all debuffs. So, I mean, if I had to say clear all debuffs on self or clear all debuffs on for allies. So, just initially looking at it, I'm going to say he's going to clear debuffs for everybody. But I think it might just be for him. Uh, then the extra penetration, that's the one thing. You might say, what does that mean? What is that? And then they break it down, explaining what it is. Damage to enemies. Forced deduction of the amount of HP equal to the enemy's attack power. Now that something could be very, that could be really, really OP in PvE, depending how how it really works. You know what I'm saying? Whereas, you know, it'll work better than DOT. You know what I'm saying? So he'll do way more damage and, you know, oh, you know, when you do, uh, when you do PvE, Higher stages like you know in Wings and Saints Row, where you don't do that much damage to them, but then with him, he's gonna hurt them a lot, and I mean a lot more than normal. Adding on top of you lose HP damage rate, so I hope that I hope that goes hand in hand with that force penetration or that extra penetration. And then hey, for two rounds, he can't be hurt. Um, at 500%, which is crazy because then he uh, two rounds, he's on two rounds, he's gonna be untouched. Um, but all in all, I mean, he's okay. Um, the skill makes me want 
to think about getting him only because I, I wonder how well that would work in PvE. But besides that, I would come. I would um, confidently skip him. Still thinking about getting Sasuke. We just have to wait um, and see how everything plays out. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Now we'll catch you guys later. Peace.